If you annoy a kitten, it's not a big deal. They might kick, scratch, and bite, but not much more. But some animals, there are some animals that if you upset them, you'll find yourself on the receiving end of quite a lot of trouble. These are animals you don't want problems with. Number 15, Giraffe. Well, for starters, giraffes are really tall, and I know that you already knew that, but just think about it for a minute. An average giraffe is between 13 and 16 feet tall, but the tallest on record measured over 19 feet tall. That means that a giraffe could easily peep into a second story window. And with all of that height, they can weigh a little bit as well. Even if they are all legs and necks, the average giraffe actually weighs more than a car. Now obviously you don't want one of them to sit on you or to blunder into you or anything else for that matter, but most of all you definitely don't want it to kick you. They have a kick that's so powerful that they can actually kill a predator if they land a foot in the right spot. It goes without saying that a giraffe wouldn't have too much trouble dispensing of a pesky human if it needed to. So lots of savanna predators choose not to take the giraffe on for dinner, that is unless they're very inexperienced or if there's not an easier catch available. If the creature does attempt to take the giraffe down, they're really risking a proper wallop that might even land them dead. The giraffe should probably carry a warning label. Although giraffes aren't generally aggressive toward humans, they will defend themselves and protect their young without a second thought. In the wild, that might mean chasing off anyone who they deem to be a threat. In captivity, it could mean giving that threat a kick in the nuts. Either way, as long as humans show respect and are careful around these beautiful animals, there's no immediate risk of having a problem. Just watch where they put their feet, because these guys are quick. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Though they may be cute, cuddly, and fluffy, koalas are also surprisingly vicious and kind of scary. They only attack when provoked, which is probably why we've not seen much footage of their anger on display. Because who would dare hurt one? But when provoked, they become seriously aggressive. When triggered, these pint-sized little brawlers will unleash their claws and teeth as they launch upon the person or animal that's angered them and rip them to shreds. But it's not just their aggression that should make you scared of koalas. They're also known to carry and spread many different diseases. It's worth noting they're mainly calm though, spending about 20 hours a day sleeping, and the things that trigger them are quite serious, like threats to their young, a threat to their own safety, or invasion of territory. So just be nice, and they'll remain sleepy and cuddly. Comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14, the hippo. Even though that hippo may look friendly, they're actually some of the most dangerous animals in all of the African continent. That hippo's not really smiling at you. No, when a hippo opens its mouth like that, it's showing its strength and it means that it's feeling threatened. There are very few creatures that are more dangerous than a hippo that feel threatened. That huge jaw is a total crushing machine, and its bite has double the force of a lion's and ten times the force of a human. So hippos can really crush anything that it can fit in its mouth, and well, to death really, and that also includes you. Apart from the hippo's mighty jaw, their immense weight is another source of their power. A charging hippo is a scary sight to behold. They can and do frequently squash living things to death, even by accident. Interactions with humans can be fatal as well. Hippo attacks kill as many as 500 people a year. And these animals, while they're fiercely territorial and are going to defend their space with the use of deadly force without a second thought. 
And since the hippo can run at over 20 miles per hour, they're easily able to outrun almost any human. For reference, Usain Bolt's world record 100 meter sprint, that was only about 27 miles per hour. But it was his top speed in the last 40 meters. So unless you do have some extraordinary sporting capability, it's probably best to stay well clear of the hippo's territory. Number 13. The Giant Panda now I know pandas are so cute that they can't possibly be dangerous, right? We've all seen those videos. These guys are always up to something funny like sneezing or causing a zookeeper to run around in circles with their naughty behavior. But those are pandas in captivity. A wild panda? That's a different beast altogether. With so much of what we do understand about pandas being based on the captive ones and what they do, the things about the wild panda's behavior, not so much. <laughs> what we do know is that these bears have a wild side, and they're also really, really turned on all the time. It's true that even wild pandas spend most of their time eating tons of bamboo, and as a result, they can poop up to 100 times a day. That's right, 100 times. They're also capable of some fierce behavior. A few people have had the misfortune of discovering just how fierce a cute panda can be. The panda's ability to chew through all that bamboo also means that it has super high bite force, meaning that it can definitely tear a chunk out of a nice soft human limb. And that's exactly what one panda did to an inebriated individual who took an ill-advised shortcut through a panda enclosure. You know that's gonna leave a mark. Number 12. Elephant. Elephants are magnificent, intelligent, famously vegetarian, so what could possibly be making these beautiful animals turn up on a list of dangerous creatures? Well, to be honest, it's the horrible way that humans have treated elephants that have caused it. Elephants never forget. It may be an old saying, but it still remains true. While elephants are highly intelligent, sensitive mammals, they also have an extraordinary sense of memory. And many of them have some pretty horrific memories of just what humans have done to them and their families. In recent decades, there have mercifully been greater efforts to protect the species and introduce areas for them to live in without the threat of hunters. However, as life on our planet Earth becomes increasingly difficult for many people, as well as animals, the size of these elephant reserves is frequently not even big enough for the elephants to avoid contact with humans. And it does seem that elephants are basically suffering from PTSD, which humans often suffer from when they're exposed to horrifying and dangerous experiences. It all goes to show and make sense that elephants can experience this as well because they do remember after all. Since most bad things that happen to elephants have been done to them by humans, you can only imagine how elephants might feel about them. And yes, it can end badly when they meet. Number 11, the rhino. Where they still exist, rhinos live in grasslands and open savanna across Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Namibia. These animals typically weigh in at around 1,760 pounds to even 3,090 pounds. However, there have also been some that have been as big as 6,385 pounds. Sadly though, it does seem as though the rhino is at considerably greater risk of harm from humans than we are in danger of them. The rhino's been hunted to the brink of extinction all over the world. This disgusting and illegal trade in poached rhino horn is nothing short of grotesque butchery that usually results in the death of the animal. So while you don't want a problem with a rhino, you'd be really fortunate to see one in the first place. However, if you did, it would be pretty justified to consider a human being a threat, so don't actually expect a warm welcome. Equipped with two horns and an extremely strong, powerful frame, the rhino's strength lies in its ability to charge at potential aggressors and overpower them with brute force. Unfortunately though, the poacher still seems to have the upper hand, despite the rhino's apparent strengths, and these beautiful creatures are running out of time. Number 10. Cone Snails 
A slow-moving snail with carnivorous tendencies needs a ruthlessly efficient system to stop their prey from wandering off. The cone snail, well, it's developed one of the deadliest and most effective poison delivery techniques on the planet. The venom that a cone snail uses can paralyze its prey almost instantly, and that's kind of terrifying. The cone snail also has a very particular way to get the poison into its prey. They have a sort of harpoon-like tooth with which they fire out the front of them, and this pokes into their victim, delivering a deadly toxic cocktail. It's brutally efficient. Oddly, though, scientists have discovered that certain isolated parts of the toxic combination may actually have some huge medicinal possibilities as painkillers. Now, despite the painkilling potential that's hidden inside of their lethal venom, humans have indeed been killed by the venomous sting of a cone snail. There's actually no known antidote to the venom. So the only hope, if you do get stung, is that you can be kept alive by machines and medical miracles until the toxins simply wear off. Off. This is a little bit of a risky business, so here's a good mantra. If it's a cone, leave it alone. Number 9. The Stonefish Now this fish can put a serious downer on anyone's afternoon paddle in the ocean, that's for sure. The next time you take a dip in tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, you should be careful where you step because the stonefish is a master of disguise and one of the deadliest animals on Earth. It produces a particularly nasty venom that's often fatal to humans unless an anti-venom can be administered in time. These super dangerous guys like to hide out on the ocean floor just looking like a rock. However, don't be fooled. These fish are definitely up to no good. The stonefish has 13 venomous spines along its back. If anything even brushes against these, then venom can be released. If you do accidentally step on a stonefish, it will sting you, and that nasty sting is extremely painful and is going to need immediate medical attention. The venom from a stonefish can cause swelling, pain, tissue death, and cardiac arrest. So that's a barrel of laughs, isn't it? If you simply must venture into the water where these badass fish hang out, then just be careful, wear your shoes, watch where you step, and cross your fingers. Number 8. The Electric Eel now, this has to be one of the most cool and weird fish out there. The electric eel can actually generate its own electricity. Oh, and they're also sinister looking as well, aren't they? They hide in the dark and gloomy waters using a weird electrical radar system to find their way around, and they're no tiddlers either. The electric eel grows to an average of six feet long, however they can get much larger. These creeps live in freshwater environments and are mostly famous for their bizarre and dangerous ability to produce high voltage that they can then use to stun their prey or defend themselves from predators. Their electrical stun effect can take out prey of considerable size, and although it's not enough to kill a human, the trouble is that it can knock you out and then you'll easily drown. Be forewarned though. That electrical charge is enough to sting you, and repeated shocks could actually put you into cardiac arrest. They're mostly found in the Amazon and river areas in South America, and I should imagine also in some kind of Bond villain secret lair as well. Number 7. The Portuguese Man of War Although it looks a lot like a jellyfish, apparently the Portuguese Man of War isn't one at all. They're actually a siphonophore, which means, and this is freaky, that they're a colony of numerous genetically identical individuals. They can't survive on their own, so they end up clumping together into a tentacled blob. In order to eat or move, they also have to work together a little bit like the Borg. It's all sounding like some crazy hentai movie. Okay, so this may be an alien. The Portuguese Man of War are clones that spookily move around the ocean in a collection of blobs using their tentacles to catch their prey and their venom to deliver painful and deadly stings. So how bad of a problem are you likely to have should you encounter one? Well, these crazy alien creatures do wash up on beaches from time to time, and they sting like crazy. 
so you should never poke anything that even remotely looks like one of these animals. Even if it is a pretty rainbow colored one, a severed tentacle can still sting you for ages after it's been detached. Although a sting from one of these weird blobs is unlikely to kill you, there is always a chance that it might, because anaphylactic shock is a possibility, as is cardiac arrest from a bad sting. Plus, it's just super unpleasant, even if you do happen to be lucky. Number 6. Crocodile Some places in the world are under attack by crocodiles. These toothsome terrors stalk warm-blooded prey, and as it turns out, they aren't all that fussy. Humans are decidedly warm-blooded, so they'll do as well. Annually in Africa, there are hundreds of crocodile attacks on humans. Between a third and half of these are fatal. Those are not really great odds. Probably best just to steer very well clear of them. The trouble is, though, if you do live in a place where crocodiles exist, then likely as not, you're going to have to rely on the same water sources that they do. So avoiding them is not always possible. Sadly, the humans that are usually targeted by crocodiles do happen to be children. Partly because of their size, but also because they're more likely to be playing in or near the water. That sucks. I really hate to bring the video down like that. That's just terrible. How about a joke? If someone says, see you later alligator, you should respond with, in a while crocodile. It's in the bylaws, of course. Number 5. The Platypus this has got to be one of the weirdest looking animals on Earth. I mean, the platypus is pretty cute with its furry body and webbed feet and duck bill. It kind of looks like you what might end up with if you asked a kid to create an imaginary creature. In fact, when the English first saw these animals in the 18th century, they thought it was a trick and that it was actually two creatures that had been sewn together. However, this magical beastie, although strange, is absolutely real. Platypus only live in eastern Australia on the island of Tasmania, and they're a crazy combination of mammal, bird, and fish, with some completely unique features. I know they look cute, but platypuses are hiding a surprising secret weapon. These guys, and it's only the guys, as the females lose the feature when they're three months old, they have venomous spurs above their hind legs. These cute little chaps use them to defend themselves from predators and also in combat with rival platypuses. The deadly toxin that they produce and inject into an attacker can kill a dog or a cat and will cause a really painful puncture in a human. So you probably should not upset one of them. Number 4. The African Buffalo one of the most temperamental and unpredictable of all animals, the American buffalo is also gigantic. Now, while these big guys are not exactly predators, they have been hunted, so they know how to recognize a threat when they see one or even when they don't. The problem with buffalo is that you simply can't really tell what they might do next. With a mighty bulk and some staggeringly dangerous horns, these animals are not to be messed with. According to those with experience of buffalo, these extraordinary creatures do remember an individual hunter from one day to the next. So if they had an encounter with someone before, then there's a very big chance they're going to remember and lead the assault on the would-be hunter instead of waiting to be attacked again. The same also applies just in general. A buffalo's best defense against a predator is just simply to attack first. They'll charge without warning if they feel threatened, and even if you don't intend to harm them, there's no way to really get that message across to them. In addition to being able to run at 37 miles per hour, buffaloes also have a few powerful defensive weapons up their sleeves. In a herd of between 50 to 500, these animals are a stampeding powerhouse, and a gang of them thundering in your direction is terrifying on an epic scale. They can even take out a pride of lions if they catch them unaware. Individually though, the buffalo has its huge bulky mass, surprisingly fast running speed, and horns that are built for impaling and a tendency to be unpredictable. This is one animal you definitely don't want problems with. A single buffalo is likely to stomp on you and poke you with his massive horns, but even if he does miss on the first go, you know, he's then brought all of his mates and they're arriving at alarming speed, so you should probably get running. Number 3. The Elk 
Now, if you're at a nice, comfy safe distance, then looking at some elk roaming around in the wild can be fascinating. But it's when you get too close to these animals that the problems begin. Known as elk or wapiti, these hefty guys are one of the biggest mammals in all of North America. Elk are ginormous and hang around in huge herds, so these animals can make an impressive sight as they move through the landscape. But this is not when they pose a real threat to humans. It's more likely to be a problem if a human surprises a female elk with a newborn calf. That's when the trouble begins. When a calf is born, the mother will keep the baby hidden for its first few days in order to protect it from predators, and that's when the mother and new baby will often be found in tall grass or scrubland. It's also at this point when it's the most dangerous time for a human to accidentally blunder into their territory. A mother defending her baby is the most badass animal on earth, whatever species it may be. And the elk is no different. Most elk attacks in North America are the result of humans surprising them. When elk do attack, they generally use their feet and powerful legs, stomping and kicking at the perceived threat. There are loads of recorded incidents of people being hospitalized with serious injuries after an elk attack. I don't know about you, but it just all seems like a super scary prospect, and I think I'll stay out of the wild. Number 2. The Blue Ringed Octopus a miniature octopus with a deadly sting, the blue ringed octopus only measures between 5 and 8 inches long, but it has such a venomous bite that it contains enough poison to kill 26 humans within a few minutes. It's no surprise then that these little mollusks are amongst the deadliest creatures in all of our oceans. The lethal neurotoxin that the blue ringed octopus uses is none other than tetrodotoxin. And if you haven't been paying attention, that's the same stuff that makes the deadly pufferfish so dangerous. We do know that this is a serious substance possessed by only the most toxic of creatures in the animal kingdom, and if this octopus bites you, your only real chance of survival is an almost immediate medical intervention and a life-saving ventilator. The neurotoxin will literally paralyze your body and stop all motor functions, and that also includes your ability to breathe. But, you know, just look at how beautiful they are. As well as having a bite with 1,000 times the killing power of cyanide, the blue ringed octopus has a whole ton of other skills, which include making itself look as trippy as a lava lamp. This actually is the octopus's warning system, so if it does feel threatened, it'll light itself up like a Christmas tree as a sign to any would-be predator to back off. And I would keep my eyes open and pay attention if I were you. Number 1. Brazilian Wandering Spiders Now the name itself just terrifies me. The distinctively sinister sounding wandering spider has the dubious privilege of being considered the world's most venomous spider by the Guinness Book of World Records. But just how bad can they actually be? Well, as it turns out, they can be very, very bad indeed. So if you find yourself wandering around in the Brazilian forest, you need to be careful where you step. These extraordinary arachnids don't build webs to catch their prey. They simply wander around the forest floor during the night and hunt it down. This scary spider is a fan of both ambush hunting and the classic direct attack. Although they do mainly hunt and eat other spiders and insects, these creatures have been known to munch on mice, reptiles, and amphibians. So they won't bite a human in order to eat it as such, but it may bite if threatened or surprised. And that bite is going to hurt. I'm sure I'm not doing a great deal for you arachnophobes out there, but trust me. A bite from a Brazilian wandering spider usually goes like this. It begins with an extreme burning pain where the victim was bitten, followed by sweating and goosebumps, then the nasty stuff, which can include high or low blood pressure and a fast or slow heartbeat. It varies as the body tries to figure out how to handle the systemic attack. After that, it's a combination of sickness, stomach pains, vertigo, blurred vision, hypothermia, heavy sweating, and convulsions, all as the shock sets in. Of course, the severity of the reaction is going to depend on how much venom is actually in the bite, but you can't really tell that until it's too late. 
The good news though, <laughs> if you are unlucky enough to be bitten by one of these spiders, you should seek immediate medical treatment, and that will probably fix you right up. The things they can do with anti-venom and all of that are really amazing these days. Well, there's a jolly selection of danger for your perusal. I hope that it's armed you with some information for the next time that you're about to prod a floating disco ball or make fun of a hippo. Have you had a close encounter with any of these animals? Let us know about it in the comments below and stay safe out there. While you're at it, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.